Whether you did or did not watch the prologue, welcome to Max Payne. This is Execute. And as you know, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. Shutting up during story is... Uh... Go. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lapino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station. And Alex. Probably a thousand times better than City Rail. I have no idea what New York's transit system is actually like. Anybody from New York who's watching this, please fill me in. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. And look for him we shall. Anyway, I should probably explain the UI to the people who've never played this game, because I didn't in the prologue, because honestly, if you, if you die in the prologue, you fucking suck, and you should just uninstall. Uh, but first though, please direct your eyes to the bottom right of the screen. You see there it says six saves left. Like I said, on the hardest difficulty, you have limited saves. Now then, the UI. You see that little figurine? That is my health. As I take damage, it fills up with red. Speaking of red... I didn't do it. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Oh no you don't, it's fucking scripted. Um, that little hourglass? That's your bullet time. You can set it off whenever you want and it will dramatically slow the game down. I don't think I need to explain how that's advantageous. Well, Alex doesn't seem to be in any of these fucking covers, but... The pills would hold the pain back for a while. Painkillers are great. You can carry up to eight of them and they will restore about a quarter of your health. Wait. Yo, what's up? I swear to god, all Yorkies sound the same to me. Let's have our first real gunfight of the game. These guys seem to be both packing deagles. So I think I will liberate those from them. And this is bullet time. You've already seen it in the prologue, but as I've just shown you, you can dive in pretty much any fucking direction you want. It's actually not the, not the safest thing to do. I'll explain why in a moment. Okay, yeah, just based on the frequency of the trays, this is way fucking superior to City yeah, Rail. He's dead, all right. Hey, it's me you're talking to. You ain't talking to shit. The one thing I like about Bullet Time, though, is it does ma it does look rather fucking epic, doesn't it? More Deagles. Deagles probably the best pistol in the game. It's very accurate and very strong. Well, that was certainly a fucking dramatic voice change from that guy. And sadly, I can't go through those little turntables and get his gun. Alright, now around this corner is a guy with a shotgun. And shotguns are very, very dangerous in this game. They're, they're extremely capable of one-shotting you. Rule of thumb. If you find a crowd of enemies and one of them has a shoddy, he dies first. Followed by Ingrams, which are Uzis. Ah, oh, fuck, he spotted me. Whoa, shit. What you just saw there was me stuffing up. That fucking jump, I did not mean to do that. Fortunately, I recovered faster than him because he sucks. That roll I just showed you there is actually the safest move in the game because when you're doing that, you're pretty much impervious to bullets. I don't know why the designers of the game did that, but it also briefly slows time down a little bit. Well, there's a dead transit officer, but uh, let's just make sure he's dead. Yeah, he's dead as shit. Alright. Fucking Alex, where are you hiding? Just 
scoff down those three fucking painkillers. Now, if memory serves, there is a guy in here holding someone hostage. And that's the end of that. You saved me, man. Fuck up. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. You know, I have a shotgun, and you're obviously not armed. I think if someone needs help here, it's you, but whatever. Fucking follow me, you bitch. Dude, this guy is the slowest fucking cunt. He's okay. Picture Usain Bolt. He's this guy's the opposite. Look, uh, wake me up when he's here. Fucking hell, that took forever. Home free, this way. Yo, look out! Uh. You see, if you could run faster, you would have avoided that shit. Anyway, that's not going to intimidate me. So in we go. Okay, this pisses me off. Look at these impersonation painkillers. I hate that shit. I hate that shit too, because now look at my fucking health. I'm almost dead and I got no painkillers. Fuck it, no guts, no fucking glory. I killed him. I killed one guy I wasn't even aiming for. God bless shotguns. Two down. Right, so fucking impersonation painkillers everywhere. You see how slow everything is going? That's because I'm in bullet time. If you're wondering how to refill bullet time, kill mans. Yes, gratuitous slow motion death. Now, there's something I've got to do in here. I've just got to flick this. Once again, I'm a master. Yes, painkillers. Once again, I'm a master engineer. The train lit up like a Christmas tree. The power was back on. Well, let's go to that train. Because I'm in a hijacking mood, see? I fucking hate this door, you have to hit the switch. Alright, let's go to the... that's not the right level. The train's down here, where the maintenance is happening. There's the Christmas tree train. Alright, let's just commandeer this. Bong bong bong! The train on platform 2 goes to Bondi Junction. First stop, Bondi Junction, then Bondi Junction, Bondi Junction, Bondi Junction, then all stations to Bondi Junction. Oh shit. So much for being subtle. Now disembarking the fail train. Ugh, fuck this cold. Hey, hey, I made it to the end of stage one with three safes to spare. Now we got a little bit of a standoff here. Unfortunately, these guys are complete dickheads half the time. Half the time I don't have to kill them all because they do it for me. Yeah, see? I can tell because for some stupid reason, when an enemy kills another enemy, you get bullet time for it. I don't fucking know why, but whatever. Well, thank you so much for donating to the Let's Not Excavate Level 1 Without Fucking Dying Fund. Dumbass. And here we go. Here's the exit. Which brings us to chapter 2, Life from the Crime Scene. Um, when you go to the next level, you get all your saves refunded, so I now have 7 again. Uh, you do not get your health back, though. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was gonna find out. Could those rats fuck any louder? Holy shit! Fucking got a rap problem at work. Don't want one in this game. Did you hear something? Yeah, take it easy. I heard a fucking rat orgy. I don't know about you guys. Anyway, I think it's time to introduce my patented quarter trick to this game. Let's see if it let's see if it functions. Hey yeah. Uh, Not really, I only got only escaped from it on Saith because he's a shit shot. And over the crate he goes. That was a bit dramatic. Alright, time to clean the house. I see you. Cause splat. Yeah, I knew you were there. I may or may not have memorized where all the pricks or shotguns are. How very Hollywood. Fucking hell, that is a shiny ass deagle. 
You are afflicted by pneumonia. You die. Very but spooky. Also it's like the failure count is rising. Yeah, I wouldn't joke about it if I was you. Yeah, neither would I, because it's probably going to happen. Yeah. The station is not secured. Someone decided to play hero upstairs. That's all we need. It was me. All right, let's fuck these chumps up. Starting with Mr. Show. Whoa, my health. Always got to keep an eye on your health in this game because it's really, really easy to die. Even on the easiest skill thing, it's really easy to die. Although I guess that's what they get for making it as realistic as possible. Now, notice how much red there is. When you have that much red, you actually limp around. Your move speed is reduced, but other than that, you're unaffected. Your health? You see my current health level. What the hell was that? It was an explosion, you fuck. Oh, rat genocide, hang on. They won't let me do this at work. Something about... I don't know, something about making too much of a mess. Anyway... Give me the detonator. What are you talking about? The detonator. I thought you'd bring it. You were supposed to bring it. Yeah, right. Well, that's certainly one way to end our argument. I like how I got bullet time from that. As I was saying, if you have health, if you have less health than this, it will actually restore itself to this. What the? Which is kind of nice. Oh. Kind of means you can budget your painkillers a little bit. The door had been welded shut ages ago, and the bomb was missing a detonator. That's not a fucking bomb, that's dynamite. What kind of cop are you, Max? Hey, you don't yeah. know the fucking difference? One down. Ah, shit, I missed. At least I get to show off the fact that he absolutely cannot friggin' hit me. If I'm just rolling around all over the place. And of course, as soon as I say that, I get stuck on that stupid volcano-looking rock there and fucking get capped. Oh, well, first death of the OP. Reloading. Do remember that, uh, every time I die in this game, it's gonna set me back a little bit. Because I have limited saves, after all. Normally, if you're playing this game, you would just, you know, save after you kill every single enemy. I, however, do not have that luxury, so I'm just gonna have to power my way through this. What the hell was that? I'll let you rats live this time, because you fucking feasted on my corpse like pricks. How the fuck did he see me? Where the hell did his buddy go? Oh, there he is. What the hell? Oh, he brought company. I fucking hate the enemies with shotguns. Second death of the LP. Like, like the guy in the fucking phone was right. The failure count's rising. Shouldn't joke about it. Don't fucking shoot me, you. Thank you. Did that really just happen? Good thing I'm good thing I'm safe with fucking hell three days. Somebody keep a running count. It's probably gonna go much higher. God fucking damn it. My kingdom for some painkillers. Fuck Max, just go to a chemist, fuck. Get some aspirin, panadol, all that other shit. Oh better yet, why don't you just get some fucking I think it's damn it's cold. Morphine. Then you then you are invincible, literally. The detonator. The detonator. You were supposed to bring it. Yeah, right. Bonk. Alright, he capped him that time. And he's down. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. For fuck's sake, Max, it's dynamite, not a bomb. Get it right. And this has the potential to suck. Uh, whew. Come out of the fucking doorway, you prick. Alright, one down. A fucking shit! Fair enough, I got stuck in a corner, I deserve that. Hey guys, pro tip. The, the door, door of the world was shut, shut ages ago, ago and the bomb was missing, missing a detonator. A detonator. What an unnaturally tough thug. He took two sh- Why the fuck would I pull out my pipe? <laughs> 
Maybe I thought it was a fucking smoking pipe, I don't know. What a crock of shit that is. What's my death count at? I've lost count. Oh, this is just a fucking piss poor performance from me. Great. I've saved where he's managed to spot me. That's, that's terrific. You fucking shit, they all come out. Oh, my kingdom for some painkillers. Oh. Okay, I got one. Oh. Why? Whatever. Oh, so this time he doesn't spot me. I'm fucking confused about that guy. Alright, let's do this properly. Nice shot, jackass. Hey, hey, victory. All right, let's go through here. Okay, fellas, the police are on their way. New York's finest, they're gonna be here soon. I'm already here, bitch. We've got our own private exit route. In and out, do your thing. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Love that phrase. You missed. Fuck, man. Alright. I will take this one thug at a time. Better safe than sorry, you know? I mean, I've already had enough fucking deaths for this episode. Gotcha. Oh, there he is. Is this room clear? Now there are more thugs in the next room. What? Like that one who was about to have a fucking heart attack. <laughs> oh, that's great. Although I don't think coming in here is the best fucking idea I've ever had. That was going so fucking well, too. You missed again. I think, I'm thinking I should save when I clear this room. Yeah, that should be fine. Love the slow motion sound of the diggle. Whew. A nice little tactic you can use against guys with shotguns is you wait for them to fire, and right before they're gonna, you just do the sideways roll, and that way you will avoid their damage no matter where the fuck you are. Alright, let's pop a quick save here. Yo! Yo! What's up, scout? Bonk! Oh, shit. I think I prefer the last attempt where, you know, somebody else guns you down for me. I really would hate to die here. Oh, fucking shit. Oh, crap, 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 Fuck, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, well, at least I saved through this room. Alright, come through, lads. Where are you going, you pussy cunt? I, I think that tree just saved my life. Thank you, tree. Fuck this, I'm going back to the other room. Fuck these guys. I don't know if you noticed the guy in the green top was limping just now. That means he had fuck all health. We are victorious. Right, now that we've killed all the bank robbers, let's go rob the bank. I mean, let's go fucking do what cops do, which is, uh, I don't know what. What would a cop do in this situation? All these fucking impersonation painkillers! That's better. Yeah, we should probably answer that. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking, and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. <laughs> Hipster Max was trolling before it was cool. Right, let's open these fucking vaults and see what's what. Vault C. The bank robber's score lay on the table. 
The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. You know, that's bullshit! I bought the last FHM, there was nothing on there, just, just like a, a, a chick in a bikini, and that's about it. As always is. The Vault bank robbers eight. had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Oh shit, yeah, we got some detonators! Let's go use the detonators! I, I love, I don't know why, I love saying detonators. I'll stop. Alright, let's go. Back to the door, which is not a bomb. Well, of course it's not a bomb, it's a fucking door. The, the, to the door, which does not have a fucking... I was trying to talk, I'm trying to do an LP, you fucking cunts go- YOU FUCKING IDIOT! <sighs> First grenade of the game, and... Everything went better than expected. Yes, because detonators sound like a car alarm. Is slow motioning this really necessary? Nowhere near as loud as it should have been. Holy crap, it's my old boss. It. Max, Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. I like how the door frame was fucking playing Tetris. You. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. You sure you couldn't tell by that massive puddle of blood? Either way, that was our best mate. This pisses us off. Let's just make sure he's dead, though. Well, if he wasn't dead before, he is now. Retribution! Now I got shot. Okay, my retribution is halfway complete. More thugs up here. Let's get the hell out of here! We'll be fine. Just take it easy. I'm allergic to sirens. We gotta get moving. Shut up, okay? Allergic to sirens like that. And that was my last save. And oh fuck. Okay. He can be allergic to sirens. I'll be allergic to grenades. Although we all knew that already. Let's try this again. Now, which brick hat was you? Got him. I see the Janae sitting there on the floor, like a fucking beacon of death. That corner trick is a go. Okay, just him now. If he hits me again, I'm done. Yeah, I, I'm gonna fuck him all the time, just, just to be safe. And we are victorious. I'm almost, I'm almost afraid to take it, but I'll take it anyway. Now, this is good news. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Never mind our dead friend, he can fend for himself. Oh, wrong way. Sorry, I went the wrong way and wasted your time. My sincerest apologies for that. Exit, Roscoe Street. Fucking someone needs to fix this place, I'm gonna mess on the floor. I've never seen snow in real life, I wanna see snow sometime. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. And I think that'll be a wrap for this video, considering it's almost 25 minutes long already. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Execute. Tune in next time for more Max Payne. And for fuck's sake, I'm still trying to decide what to do with Doom.